walk through your average produce aisle these days and there are more choices than ever. But one farm has a very eye-catching marketing strategy to entice you. And it all has to do with the bright picture of a little boy named Andy. But have you ever stopped to wonder, who is this Andy boy guy anyway? Andy boy's my father, Andy DeRigo. He's the face on the label. And uh, yes, a lot of people ask, is there an Andy boy? I said, yes, there is. Who is this? Yep. It's me. Oh. <laughs> You see, when folks around here say Andy DeRigo is the face of Andy Boy Produce, they mean it, literally. Now 86 years young, he, along with his daughter Margaret and son John, run one of the most successful farms in the Salinas Valley. It all started back in the early 1900s when Andy's dad and uncle immigrated from Sicily and went through Ellis Island. They were both teenagers and spoke barely any English, but they had a dream for something better. This is the American dream, where people see opportunity. I don't know how my grandfather was living there could scrape up enough money to put two kids on a boat to the United States and probably knowing they never see him again. But they knew there was no opportunity there where they lived. And I think that's what the United States is all about. The two brothers started their operation in New York, but then moved out west to begin growing fruits and vegetables. And in 1927, Stephen trademarked the name Andy Boy in honor of his son. The company became the first ever brand of fresh vegetables in the United States and has been recognized for more than 80 years now as a leading brand in the business. Today, the farm is feeding the nation by harvesting more than 30,000 acres of fresh vegetables, all packed under the Andy Boy brand. And while they farm a wide variety of produce, some of their biggest sellers as of late are romaine hearts, broccoli rob, and a big hit among culinary professionals, fennel. This is the field of fennel. And uh, you'll notice it's got a nice white bulb and a beautiful fern, and really all the plants usable in cooking. Cooking with it is one thing, but just getting people to try it is the first thing farmers like the Dorigos hope to do. Recently, they teamed up with local chef Todd Fisher, and together the farming team and the cooking whiz whipped up new recipes for some old favorites. And in the end, they came up with a whole new way to get people to eat their veggies. To, to see the, the realization on people's face when you prepare it properly and they go, wow, this is something that I, wow, I really like this now, as opposed to, this astringent, bitter vegetable. So I like working with it because it's a challenge for me as a chef, but it's also so gratifying to see a, a guest enjoy something that they may not have other, otherwise had the opportunity to try. Well, this is our the rapini dipperini. So it's got the rapini and the caramelized fennel in there done in that low-fat yogurt. So it's really nice, light, and vibrant. Kind of, kind of a twist on a classic French onion dip. Their success means the family has also given back to their community. They've donated more than $1 million to breast cancer research over the last 10 years, all in an effort to keep folks eating and feeling healthy. And despite the hands of time passing on the clock, one thing that hasn't passed this farming family by is the appreciation of staying true to the patriarch's core beliefs. And I think probably the neatest thing is that we still, um, the company today still has the same values that it had when it was founded, the quality, consistency, and value, those are the things that we always talk about and our company still really uses those as our cornerstone today. So I think that's pretty amazing. Well, there's two things. First of all, you gotta get a family that gets along. <laughs> <clears throat> and the second thing is that w we have just been dedicated to producing a quality product. And we love our work, as they say. I, I should be retired, but I'd probably be divorced if I was because I'd be too much time at home. Uh. For California Country, I'm Tracy Sellers.